This is the next edition in our series of naming all MLB teams from years past, choosing one player at each position, five starting pitchers, and two relievers. We've done 1980 and 1981, check it out if you haven't yet. We continued through the decade with 1982. First base, the Orioles' Eddie Murray, who put up his usually solid power numbers, 32 homers, 110 RBIs. Second base, veteran Joe Morgan, now with the San Francisco Giants. The 38-year-old had an on-base percentage of 400. Shortstop is the American League MVP, Robin Yount of the Brewers, a 957 OPS and a league-leading war of 10.2. Third base, there's Mike Schmidt again. The Phillies legend eclipsed 30 homers, a 400 on-base percentage, and won his sixth Gold Glove Award. Catcher, again, it's Gary Carter. The Expos backstop led the National League in war, got a silver slugger, and another Gold Glove. The Outfielders starts with Atlanta's Dale Murphy, the first of two straight NL MVPs. He powered the Braves to a division title. Los Angeles Dodger home run threat Pedro Guerrero. He hit 32 over the walls and drove in 100. And lastly, for the third time in three years, Ricky Henderson, 130 stolen bases, a staggering amount that remains the single season record. Designated hitter is the Expos' Al Oliver, edging out Kansas City's Hal McRae and California's Doug DeSensei. Oliver led the NL in hits, batting average, and tied Murphy with 109 RBIs. For starting pitchers, that's headed by the aces of both Canadian clubs, Steve Rogers of Montreal and Toronto's Dave Steve. Rogers posted a major league best 152 ERA+, plus, while Steve was a standout workhorse on a bad team, completing 19 games and leading all pitchers in war. Rick Sutcliffe of Cleveland had the best ERA and best ERA plus among American League starters. The last two in the rotation had the top whip rates in each league. Since he's Mario Soto with 274 strikeouts and veteran Jim Palmer, the longtime Baltimore Orioles ace. Relievers, we had a bunch of great candidates, but we ultimately went with the submariner from Kansas City, Dan Quisenberry, who appeared in 72 games and saved 35, along with Seattle's Bill Caudill, who appeared in 70 games and saved 26. And that's our all MLB team for 1982. Let me know what you think in the comments.